Wukiyo-e, is a genre of traditional Japanese woodblock printing and painting that derived during the Edo period. The term, Wukiyo-e, literally meaning pictures of the floating world in English, refers to a style of art that primarily depicted scenes from the vibrant urban culture of Edo, and other major Japanese cities during that time. These artworks often reflected the culture, fashion, and entertainment of the period, portraying a world of courtesans, kabuki actors, sumo wrestlers, landscapes, historical events, and moments of everyday life. To understand Wuki Yui, it is important to delve into the historical context of its creation. Let's journey back to the Edo period, a transformative era in Japan's history. At its heart was Edo, a bustling city that would later become Tokyo. Here, a thriving merchant class known as the Chonin, found themselves at the forefront of a cultural revolution. This class occupied a distinct position in the social hierarchy of the time. The Chonin class experienced remarkable economic growth and prosperity throughout the Edo period. Factors such as burgeoning trade, the development of markets, and the rapid urbanization of Edo contributed to their newfound wealth. With disposable income at their disposal, the Chonin class had the means to immerse themselves in a wide array of entertainment, indulge in luxury goods, and support the arts, including the flourishing world of Wukiyoe. Furthermore, they immersed themselves in the vibrant world of Kabuki theater, appreciated the artistry of geisha performances, and relished the companionship of courtesans from the pleasure districts. This lifestyle, marked by opulent indulgence and the relentless pursuit of pleasure, was famously known as the Wukiyo, a term that translates to the floating world. It's often noted that during the Edo period in Japan, acquiring a masterpiece Wukiyo A was as affordable as enjoying a humble bowl of noodles. It was a luxury that didn't require immense wealth, making it a form of art embraced by the Chonin class, who reveled in the cultural explosion of their time. The affordable price allowed most people to decorate their homes with Wukiyo A prints. For the Chonin class, the acquisition of Wukiyo A prints was not just an act of decoration. It was an expression of their social and cultural identity. Woodblock printing technology is at the heart of Wukiyo A, playing a pivotal role in its creation and mass production during the Edo period in Japan. At the core of this technique lie the materials in use. Wukiyo A artists and craftsmen primarily used cherry wood for their woodblocks. This preference for cherry wood stemmed from its fine grain, remarkable durability, and its exceptional ability to capture intricate details. To achieve the vibrant array of colors, each color within a print necessitated a separate woodblock. These woodblocks were meticulously carved to ensure precise alignment during the printing process, resulting in the intricate and harmonious final compositions that define Wukiyoe. Another crucial material to mention is paper. Washi, the favored medium for Wukiyoe prints, was crafted using traditional Japanese papermaking techniques. Washi featured a smooth surface that absorbed ink effectively, preventing unwanted bleeding or smudging. Furthermore, its durability made it exceptionally suitable for large-scale mass production. Successful designs were frequently reprinted to satisfy continuous demand, with each edition potentially consisting of hundreds or even thousands of copies. Woodblock printing technology was labor-intensive and required the collaboration of skilled artists, carvers, printers, and publishers. Despite its complexity, this technique was instrumental in making Wukiyo A prints accessible to a wide audience, and played a significant role in the cultural explosion of Edo Japan. Wukiyo A encompasses a wide array of subject matter, vividly capturing the bustling urban culture and everyday life of the Edo period. These prints provide glimpses into the daily routines of people, offering a window into that era's dynamic urban culture. Interestingly, the similarities between Wukiyo-e and Impressionism are striking. Both art forms share the common concept of depicting everyday life in their works. In fact, Wukiyo-e played a pivotal role in shaping the Impressionist movement in Western art. 
Wu Kyo-a's portrayal of everyday life in Japan resonated with Western artists, who were increasingly interested in depicting ordinary life rather than just historical or mythological subjects. This shift in focus is evident in Impressionism, where artists like Monet and Degas captured everyday scenes and fleeting moments. Beyond Impressionism, Wu Kyo-a also contributed to the development of Post-Impressionism. During the late 19th century, Western artists actively collected Wu Kyo-a prints, using them not only as art, but also as source material for their own creative endeavors. Van Gogh, for example, was heavily influenced by Japanese woodblocks in his use of vibrant colors and distinctive compositions. Japanese design sensibilities and aesthetics profoundly influenced these Western artists, resulting in the incorporation of elements such as asymmetry, simplicity, and a heightened focus on nature into Western art. Wu Kyo-a's impact can be traced through various artistic movements, from Impressionism to Post-Impressionism, and even beyond, shaping the course of art history. Thank you for joining us, and we hope you enjoy the video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, see you next time.